Experiment 32 from Physics with Vernier is called Sound Waves and Beats, and the idea with this experiment is that you use different sound sources to measure uh, the frequency of the sound, and ultimately it, the lab has you use uh, sounds of different frequencies and record them together to see what happens when they're recorded at the same time. Now, the data set was collected uh, using a keyboard. I'm going to use some tuning forks here. And I've got two different frequencies, and I have a microphone. And the microphone is already connected to my iPad. And one thing to notice is that the experiment time is very, very short. It's three hundredths of a second. And the reason for that, if you don't, you know, see all the waves you want. So let me demonstrate how this works here. So I'm going to start off with a microphone or a with a tuning fork that looks like this. Uh, I will come here, go like this, and just listen to it for a second to hear that one. And then let me do this. So we get a wave that looks like that. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to use another frequency. Um, I have the tuning fork here. Let's hear what that one sounds like. And then come here, do it again. And we get that one. And if I come here and display both of them, we can see both of them. So uh, one is a higher frequency, vibrates at a, at a higher rate. So let me show you how to analyze the data here. So there's some things you need to know. You need to know how to be able to get the time from it. Um, you need to know how to be able to do some curve fitting. So uh, in order to get the frequency, the way you do that is determine the period. And the period is the time it takes for, say, one wave to pass. And a good way to do that is to actually highlight a number of peaks. I think that's six peaks. And from this, I can get the actual time it takes to go for all six peaks. Then I can determine the time for one peak by dividing by the number of peaks there. So you need to be able to do that one. Uh, the other thing you have to be able to do here is do a curve fit. And so I'll go down here, and the experiment asks you to do a sign fit. So I'll do that and it gives you these values here. And so in the lab it refers to these, things like amplitude and frequency and how you work all that out there. So, so this is the first part of the lab. The second part of the lab is a different file, um, and it is actually the one where the two sounds are recorded simultaneously. So I'll do this, let me open that file. So I'll open the file, I won't save that one. So I've opened the second file for the experiment, and this file is the one where the two tones were measured simultaneously, and that's why you get this pattern here. Uh, like you did in the first part, you need to know how to be able to do the time, because it asks you something about the beat frequency. And the beat frequency is going to be, like we did there, that would give you the period of the beat frequency, and you get take the reciprocal of that to actually get the frequency there. So that's similar to the, to the first part there. So again, sound waves and beats investigate sound using a microphone.